this this is something that happened on CNN too. And we're going to get to the Met Gala because I just Dick. think the Met Gala is perfect. Uh, this morning, the CEO of the Texas Association of Business, Glenn Hammer. Look, he was on CNN, and this is why this is important. You know, that we always name. try and make sure that you guys are. Uh, are aware of what's going on, again, yeah. in the opposite side's uh, echo chamber. Yeah. CNN, and they're not MSNBC, they're supposed to be neutral. Th this is a moment that we were watching, you were watching this this morning, right, Yeah, Gerald? I was. We were watching it live, and we said, you gotta pull this clip, where it's someone who walked out, this host, with her DNC talking points, and in no way was prepared for the most basic, yeah. four-word, statistically accurate response and then tried to backpedal. I don't know that you have a more perfect example of how, again, out of touch uh, and out of sync the left is. Here you go. You, I just want to highlight one of your arguments. You say the vaccine is the most effective way to prevent the transmission of COVID-19, of it course, is. right? Um, it's right. also the way to get the Texas economy back on its feet. I mean, if you just go back to the what, economic, I, how I, do you- I well, no, my, is rocking and rolling. Well, Glenn. We're the strongest economy <laughs> in my, my the question is- Oh! Okay, my question is, how do you, okay, but it, can, may I, let me ask my question, Glenn. You tell me, what, how, did, how does it help anyone if someone leaves a larger company, goes to a smaller company, or just drops out of the labor force? I mean, this is a half-baked proposal. No one saw just say, this coming. Half-baked. Everyone knows that. It was a terrible process. It's going to be challenged in the courts. And, you know, I, I, I don't think this was the... This was a terrible process. We want people to get vaccinated. The president should have brought people together. Instead, he did something, unfortunately, that continues to divide us. We'll see where this conversation goes. <laughs> no. No, the conversation ended. She didn't realize. She goes, this is the way to get the uh, Texas economy. He's like, what are you talking what? about? Oh, 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 you're in New York. Yeah. Yeah, you don't understand. <laughs> or maybe she's in D.C. I have no idea. But no, it's not California. Oh. It's not New York. Don't you understand? Just This is when people say, for example, if someone argues overpopulation, you just go, drive across the country. Yeah. If yeah. they say the economy has been decimated, you say, oh, uh, drive across the country. They have no idea. We talked about this yesterday with Ben Shapiro. Look, you can look at this on a state-by-state -state basis. States like Texas have done well. States like California, states like New York have not. She wasn't ready for that. No. Nope. It hadn't even occurred to her. She just didn't pull <laughs> basic economic data. And then she, tried to say, she was like, what? She tried to what say, well, what's about? the way to optimize Texas's economic future? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'm going to answer your question with a question. Should we do it like California? Yeah. How do you think yeah. that's going for you? I thought we were going to stay successful, but what do you think we should do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think, we're open to suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I, I feel like she's like, haven't you been watching us tell how scary this is and you guys yeah. are still open? Have you considered a tent city? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some in Austin. Do you so. have a sanctuary? Yep. Do you have overpasses in Texas? Uh huh. Could you? How many them? people can you fit under there? Yeah, yeah the cartel hangs people from them because <laughs> our economy's awesome. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.